this industry is not a small industry it's a multi billion dollar company or industry in the whole world and uh, to be very honest uh, it's bigger than the movie and music industry combined it's around if i'm not mistaken it's around uh, 250 billion dollar worth this industry and it's fun you get to be somebody you get to be something that you wanted to be in your life you know like if you ever thought of being for example a superhero i mean why not make a superhero game out of it you know you can be creative you can you can make anything you want sky is the limit on that i'm sure nowadays since due to corona i hope all of you are safe i hope all of you are taking care of yourselves on that uh, due to corona the gaming industry has actually grown a lot especially in 2020 till 2023 this gaming industry is going to go about 200 billion i'm sure of it and there's actually research is on it that this industry is going to grow really fast so in this department what we do is we try that we want to you know suffice and we want to give to people like if you if you ever have a question on games if you ever feel the need to study more if you ever feel the need to you know learn about games and our industry i'm always here me and my team are always present to help you out here in pakistan because we know pakistanis are super talented but they're not recognized they always have to go abroad they always have to study abroad they always have to you know work abroad and and i know a lot of people here cannot financially support themselves to go abroad but that's okay that's why i wanted to start this thing here that's why i wanted to develop myself here and make this dream come true for anyone who's interested and i'm sure that many of you during these uh, lockdown uh, days you know work from home or studying from home i'm sure many of you have downloaded so many games on your phone games probably you didn't even hear of but now you download it because it's fun and it's always entertaining that's what our industry is all about it's all about fun and if to be honest you know i've visited so many offices abroad i have visited offices in uh, malaysia i've visited offices in singapore in georgia and here in pakistan but to be honest when you see these game offices abroad you're going to fall in love with it why because you know they have beautiful environments inside you get to play games you get to you have a break room full of snooker tables uh full of football tables full of console gaming and all that you know i mean it's not basically work you know that you don't want to go home when you go to that office you know, we want an environment such as that when it comes to game uh for example i used to get students come up to me and ask me hey uh can we make a game like Dota 2 can we make a game like Counter Strike can we make a game like Call of Duty my only reply to them is like hey you know what if you learn how to make a game you can make something better than that why do you have to copy what other people make you know you can make anything you want and who knows your game becomes better and bigger than Dota 2 then bigger than Counter Strike I'm giving you these references because these are the most played games here in Pakistan, right? There's only like two or three specific games that people play here. It's either FIFA, it's either Counter Strike, or Dota 2, or Fortnite, or PUBG, and stuff like that. See, I know most of the games. I've played most of the games. Let me tell you something, right? Uh, when someone comes up to me in the office, or when someone comes up to me at home, and they say, "Why are you always playing games?" I have the best excuse. I tell them, "Hey, it's it's my job. You know, I have to play games." And it's true. I have to play games in order to learn what the game is all about because game in the gaming world is always evolving. It's evolving every day. I mean, right now we're creating the first augmented reality game for the whole world. Actually, not just for Pakistan, for the whole world. We're creating the first augmented reality game uh in our office with a few a few teammates we are hardly what eight or nine guys in our team and i could not ask of a better team honestly these guys are the best at what they do they have 10 years experience at what they do and they're awesome 
So now we're developing it. It's been almost two years that we've been working on this game. And inshallah, this month, we're hoping to launch it on the market. And I'll be sure, obviously, to market it online. And I'm going to share it with you guys as well. So you guys can have a look and have a play at it. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, even though the game is augmented reality, it's AR-based game. So your phone, your devices will have to support AR, obviously, right? So I hope, I mean, it's a high-end tier. It's a high-end game. But at the same time, we will release another version of it, which will be uh, just for normal gaming, like on your skin game. No, no need for the AR, no need for your camera. So... Yeah, I mean, that's a very huge project. I'd be very proud of it. And hopefully soon we'll also uh, release this trailer and release the game itself. Sure. Sir, the games are designed for the design, which are the languages in the market? There are many languages in the market. That depends. You want to go to which language you want to go to. Which language is your favorite? I mean, people make Java and uh, C Sharp. I mean, that depends. That is a specific uh, language you need. Ask the games one thing. That depends on your game engine. For example, if you have Unity engine, hai, so you can make it on Unity. If you have Unreal engine, to hai, make it on Unreal. That's the best part. Anything you like. Sir, it's easy. Kis pe rehta hai? Ah, again, now, easy ka jahan tak sawal aata hai, this all depends on you. कि कुछ लोगों को जावा बहुत पसंद आता है, कुछ लोगों को जावा से नफरत है, कुछ लोग कहते नहीं मुझे C++ ज़्यादा पसंद है, मुझे C शार्प ज़्यादा पसंद है, तो मैं किस तरफ जाऊँ? मैं कहता हूँ आप सीखो, सब सीखो, दोनों सीखो, बल्कि तीनों चारों जितने भी हैं सब सीखो आप, and then you take out the answer from there, आपको कौन सा सबसे इजी Sir, and PUBG and Fortnite, what kind of languages are they? PUBG and Fortnite is basically multilingual. It's not specifically one language. It's multiple languages. Obviously, one team doesn't sit, one person doesn't sit. There's a whole team sitting behind it. And everyone has their own implementation. So, it's just like Fortnite. 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 दूसरा यूनिटी का यूआई यूएक्स बनाता है बेसिकली जो यू नो दोस्त चैट स्क्रीन आती हैं या होम पेजेस आते हैं तो वो हर किसी का लगा लगता है इसमें तो सो व्हेन यू गो टू वर्ड्स फॉर टाइम ऑफ पब्जी पब्जी के भी पता नहीं आई एम वेरी शर्ट देर ऑलमोस्ट ओवर 50 अप तो जाहिर सी बात है कि उनका इंजन जो था, the PUBG इंजन that they were using, I actually forgot about it. उनका इंजन कौन सा यूज़ कर रहे थे ये लोग स्पेसिफिकली? But ज़्यादातर लोग जो होते हैं, ये लोग अपना अपना इंजन भी क्रिएट कर लेते हैं। If you're that good in programming, you can actually create your own engine. Why pay other guys? You know, like it's an unreal engine है। आप स्टूडेंट्स के लिए फ्री होता है, to use. But if you really want to learn on your own, आप उस एक इंजन से सीखो एंड इवेंटुअली यू प्रोग्राम योर ओन इंजन अब अपना इंजन बना एंड यू पुट इट आउट इन द वर्ल्ड क्या पता लोग डेवलपर्स आपके इंजन में यूज़ करना शुरू करें जस्ट टू प्ले विद इट थैंक यू नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम पाइथन अ मिक्सचर ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस Python is not a mixture of languages. Actually, Python is a language itself, if I'm not mistaken, honestly. It's been a long time since I've been into programming. I have been more into design and 2D work and 3D work and management work nowadays. I, I mean, honestly, my programming is very, very rusty. I mean, if someone programming a job, I try to stay away from it. It gets boring for me, personally. But if you guys are interested, man, go ahead. Do whatever you want, seriously. Uh, what are the most challenging issues of the video game design? Ooh, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, video game design is the hierarchy, you know? Uh, when you're making a game design, specifically design, you need to start off with a simple sketch. You need to come up with an idea. You have to come up with a story. If it's a story-based game, of course. 
to come up with an idea and you have to take it all the way up. That takes a lot of polishing, a lot of redo work. Not bad as all the time, but the redo work that I have. And uh, well, that's just it. Okay, uh, what about your game? Can you explain a little bit like which type of game it is? It is an AR game, actually, uh, augmented reality games. Who to make it? Your phone, for example, high tier phones or phones. As per my phone, I'm like Samsung Galaxy 10 onwards. Yeah, they have uh, augmented reality support, AR support over here. So what happens is, for example, you have the game on here, or you direct your camera, you have the camera on, or the background is on. You direct it on any floor, for example, you have the camera on any floor, and now you can see your characters, little 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 characters, real world in the background. For example, you have the standing table, you have the cool lighting, little little characters in the background. हमारा जो गेम है समथिंग लाइक दैट आई कैन रियली गिव इट आउट नहीं तो वो सरप्राइज बेसिकली खराब हो जाएगा उस चीज़ में तो हमारा गेम बेसिकली ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी के ऊपर ही है अच्छा हो ये दो एंड एंड गन भी समथिंग रियली इंटरेस्टिंग तो वो एक बार सर आई हैव क्वेश्चन शर्ट सर आपकी गेम फिर पोकेमोन गो जैसे Pokemon Go is definitely AR. That's the same concept as well. Uh, AR is like real world made up a 3D world. That is basically AR. So that's like you know the new technology like VR. VR के लिए तो आपको basically पड़ा था glasses जब तो चलाएँ आप वो device होके आप यू पे लगाएँ अपने. And personally, I don't like VR because my जब भी पहनता हूँ मुझे चकराना मतलब चकराने शुरू कर देता हूँ. Up to five or ten minutes. So इस वजह से मैं VR ज़्यादा But obviously, बनाने के लिए तो हाज़र है. AR on the other hand is the new future of games. You can say, you know, it's basically your real world in the real world. So, something very really unique. It's fun. Something interesting. So, आप ज़्यादा कौन सी language prefer करते हैं? I prefer I like C sharp. I used to. I mean, at least I used to prefer C sharp. Once upon a time, now my programming is a bit back on the honest about it. Do graphics quality depend on the engine? They very much do. Yes, they do. Graphics quality, like for example, how the two main engine nowadays in the world is Unreal Engine and Unity Engine. Then you have your other Crytek or Bioware, etc., etc. Uh, Unreal Engine. Yeah, uh, if you even go to YouTube and watch the latest trailer, 